is opening up the sides of the onesie so we can sew in our ribbon. And so we gotta figure out where we wanna do that. And I've got my ribbon right here. This is two, two and a quarter inches. And so I want mine to be pretty close to the arm level. So I'm gonna keep measuring tape and I'm gonna do about half an inch down. So we wanna measure just so the ribbon is even all the way across. Do this side. Okay. And then like I said, it's about two and a quarter inches down. And so we'll wanna mark that as well so we know when to start opening it up and when to close. Okay, so we know that's about what we where we want our opening to be. So now get your seam ripper out. Then take your onesie. And if you take it and you pull the seam like this really tight, you can see the threads. And then you just go through and just open and put your seam ripper through and that will open up the, the sides. And so just go ahead and do that uh, between the markings that you've made with your pins. And then you can go over a little bit more so that there's some wiggle room with the ribbon. Okay, now that it's opened, now we just need to cut our ribbon. And so get your ribbon and this is solid grill grain ribbon from the ribbonretreat.com and we're going to see the length that we need so starting at one end where it opens up and then going all the way along the onesie and so I'm going to measure it and cut at ten and a half inches and then cut your other all your ribbons at that at that amount I measured 10 and a half inches on my onesie and so I've cut my ribbon to 10 and a half inches. So whatever you measure on your onesie or your shirt, that's what you're gonna wanna cut. And then also be sure to seal your ends. I did that with a lighter and you can also do that with fray check or whatever method you like. And then also take your stitch witchery or your hem tape or your fusible web and cut that to 10 and a half inches. And I'm going to layer it right here and sandwich it in between these two ribbons and then iron it together so these will be together. So here's the hem tape for the fusible web on this ribbon so it's all secured and together now. And so if you're just putting this, just putting a ribbon on, you can go ahead and move from this step. But I am adding a bow. And so we ha we're going to have a tutorial for this bow. This is a pinwheel bow with no tails. And I made this, I just think it adds so much cuteness to it. And um, so I need to, I'm going to attach this to this strip of ribbon before we put it on the onesie or the shirt. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to stitch it, hand stitch it. And so I'm just going to take my needle and thread and make sure you've got a pretty big knot on the back and then decide where you want it to be and you can put it anywhere in the middle on the side I like mine to be on the side and so that's what I'm sticking with and so I like it to be right there so I'm just gonna stitch it together and so what I'm gonna do is go back and forth right here on um, this part, so this part is secure, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to stitch through uh, each of the the loops, not all the way through, but just that first layer of the bow, and make sure that those loops are secure on the strip of ribbon as well. And so go ahead and do that if you're adding a bow too. Okay, now that we've finished stitching the bow to this ribbon piece. We're ready to attach it to the onesie or if you're doing a shirt to your shirt. 
And so how we're gonna do that is we're going to use the stitch witchery or the hem tape or the fusible web. And so cut the amount, the length of your ribbon. So mine's 10 and a half inches. And I've cut two of them since I've got a pretty big ribbon. And I'm gonna um, put one on each side and um, we're gonna iron it to our shirt. So I've got my onesie and I've got my ribbon. And so I'm gonna be placing it about right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just place my hem tape down. You want it to be pretty close to the edge. Okay, and then get your iron and just follow the instructions on your hem tape or your stitch witchery. So I just focus on one spot and then work my way over. And then for the part underneath the bow, we're gonna turn we're gonna turn the shirt over and do it from that side. All right, so when it's all on there, then you know it's secured. Uh, it's time to sew the ends into the sides. And I just wanted to say real quick that if, if you don't wanna do that, you can always just stitch along the top and the bottom of the ribbon and that can secure it to the shirt or onesie as well. All right, so turn your onesie and your, or your shirt inside out and then we're gonna stitch the ribbon into that opening of the side. And so just make sure the ribbon is, is placed in there. And the stitch that you're gonna to wanna to use, you're gonna to wanna to use um, a zigzag stitch. So just remember to back, back stitch. And then do the same thing with the other side. Okay, our shirt or onesie is all done. This is how the edge will look. It just looks nice and neat, tucked in that seam right there. And same with that one. And so it's so cute and it's an awesome way to dress up a onesie or a shirt. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out our YouTube channel and also subscribe for a new tutorial each week. And be sure to stop by the ribbonretreat.com for all of your ribbon needs. Thank you.